want to ask about one of your players, Jared Payne. We're hearing he has returned to training, but what's the situation? Is there a timeline in the comeback? Do you know if he will come back? What's what's the situation there? Uh, first and foremost, the whole process has been about um, the player first, the welfare of Jared, and that would stand for any player in any situation of an injury. Um, but look, there's been a, a process that's been in place and uh, a lot of investigation and, and getting the right consults, uh, the right... Uh, you know, care given um, uh, to Jared, because uh, first and foremost, uh, you know, he, he's a good person uh, who wants to put the jersey on. Uh, he's got a young family, and we have to make sure it fits and works for him. And yes, he has been training for a number of weeks now, um, and and doing more and more contact. Uh, he's getting closer and closer. That's all I can say. Uh, the dangerous thing is to put timelines on it, but we would hope that we can see more progression over the, over the next couple of weeks and, and see where we get to. But uh, well, we're optimistic. We're, we're working with, with Jared on this. He's, he's, he's been brilliant. You know, it's, it's not been easy by any stretch of the imagination, but, you know, uh, he knows that his welfare is first and foremost. And, and, I, appreci I, and I appreciate it's, it's kind of a weird one where we're asking you about the health of a player because essentially it's, it's none of our business. I wouldn't ask about any other professional, but I guess sport is just different. Has a, there been a conversation with Jared about, look, Jared, maybe it might be best for you if you, if you didn't continue or have you had that conversation? Has he brought it up? Have you brought it up? What's no, no, it hasn't been part of it. You know, uh, you know, you're right. When you're talking about medical situations, you've got to be careful about how you articulate those things and how far you go with your explanations. But, you know, I also understand that people want to know, but... And they're what, worried as well. Like, yeah, you know, if he's out yeah, that long with a head yeah, issue, people, yeah. they do worry. And you've heard the talk about Johnny Sexton and other players have had issues. And yeah. it's, you know, we've all seen the movie Concussion, you know, and I appreciate that's a movie, but based on reality. So people, they do worry. Yeah, and, and people, you know, would like to know what their players are going to be doing for them and their team. And um, uh, it's important that uh, the right level of information is given and, and, and doesn't create, you know, storylines or headlines that aren't aren't real you know this isn't this is more about jared than anyone else it's more about what we can do for him and help him out and you know he's playing his part he's doing everything possible to be right uh he's a quality person quality character and uh it'd be important to get him right first so um you know we, does it, how much does it worry you as a coach and as a person, one of your team members is going through this and yeah. until he gets back out there, I guess, yeah. everyone is worried. And even when he's back out there, is there a question mark in your head? I'm not sure if this is the right thing. No, I haven't thought of that at all. I, I, you know, I rely on the, uh, the medical uh, division to, to do their work and the investigation. We rely on, you know, Jared's feedback. We are, you know, we're, we're just concerned that there's a, there's a young man first and foremost, and we've got to get him in the right space that he can do what he wants to do, and that's put the jersey on and, uh, you know, to try and uh, predict what might be or what mightn't be, I don't think's uh, the right thing, really, for me to do. I, I just want to give him the fullest support um, and, and try and get to the, the solutions that matter. And, and, and there's been great progression in the last three or four or five weeks. There's been, you know, an acceleration of, um, you know, good news. Uh, we've just got to be optimistic, uh, give them the, the right type of advice and help and, and try and get there. But, you know, it's not just Jared. As you mentioned, there's other players that, have, that go through some uh, ter terrible times. And, you know, looking after players' welfare is first and foremost. And, I, you know, from Ulster's perspective and from the IRFU's perspective, you know, I think we're at the forefront of that in, of any nation in the world at this stage. And uh, and that's important that, that that's recognised. And because sometimes there might be information that doesn't quite suit some people, we, you know, it's, you've got to accept that we are, this is a person we're talking about for and foremost. We don't want to be talking about what's and ifs and maybes. We've got to be just pragmatic on a weekly basis and hopefully we get the solution sooner than later. Yeah, I do think you're right. I mean, sometimes when we're talking about this, we have to realise this is not a story, this is a person. It's not like we're talking about the scrums or a game or whatever, you know.